I'm Chicano, and this is Paradise. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about um, God's unique way of getting the message across. Um, for a long time now, what's been happening is I've been getting upset regularly because anything that could, Murphy's Law, anything that could go wrong has been going wrong since I moved out here. And I'm thinking to myself, man, I'm in paradise. When do I catch a break? Just little, little things. Unable to, unable to rent a, a car because of this, you know, um, a canceled flight, delays when traveling, uh, just little things bumping my head, you know, like just uh, dealing with um, construction workers, dealing with people at the gym, like whatever could happen that, that would bother you, that would upset you, would happen to me. Little nuances. And um, it upset me, man, a lot. Look at my look at my cat. <laughs> he crazy. Anyways, it would upset me a lot. And I would, I'm the type of dude that that um, rage, man. Rage is one of my demons, and I would get upset. And I knew that I have to work on that. And God is preparing me for a good life. He's preparing me for, for me to blossom into what I'm supposed to become. But I can't because I keep messing up, right, with this rage. And, man, I was knocked out playing basketball. I saw stars and everything, not by anyone else, but by the rim. I didn't even know I had hops. I've never in my life um, uh, had my, my face touch the rim or I didn't even know I could jump that high. But, um, yeah, so I was dunking and then, um, I was happy, you know, cause I've been working on my hops for a while. And so then I dunked and I got happy and I kept going back for more and more and more. And this one time I just jumped so high, God, I felt like God came from underneath me and pushed me towards the rim. I don't even know where the ball landed. I told my wife, where did the ball go? You know? And, um, I could have been upset. I would have normally been upset, but I kept my cool. I kept my cool. And it was just um, God's way of saying, hey, because I pride myself in not being, get, I'm not being uh, caught slipping, not being caught lacking, to use a modern word, not being like, always being aware of my surroundings and not bumping into stuff. And I've been bumping into a lot of stuff, you know, and like, um, my wife said, you know, like it could have been something else, like a weight falling on your foot in the gym, which happens to a lot of people. But the most the thing that I would never expect to hit my head on the rim happened. And um, albeit, it, I mean, it was a shorter rim, you know, it's not like an NBA style rim. Um, but um, I hit myself and, and I, I told my wife I would have. And we were looking at videos because I, I recorded myself dunking. And we're recording videos and it was like six inches or more, a little more for my head, where my head was touching um, before my head, my, my head could touch the rim. And at this time, for whatever reason, I went up higher than that. And I and to me, that's God, you know, putting a stamp on it, gave me that little extra push to send his message. And uh, that, that day was super frustrating, right? Because then I had to go to the dentist because I busted a tooth. Um, and I'll show you guys video of it. Uh, I didn't want to record it, um, but I'll show you guys video of it later. Big old gap right here in this colmillo. Um, and I was going from dentist to dentist here in Spain and, um, they were manipulating me. They said, Oh, if you come now, you won't have to wait. I'm like, this is urgent. I don't want to lose my tooth. And they're saying, um, no, we'll take care of you. Don't worry about it. And I was sitting there and people were going in front of me. And here I am bleeding. People were going in front of me. People were going in front of me. And I got upset. I told the lady her truth. I told her, look, you're a liar. Hate to put it bluntly, but you are. You told me I wouldn't have to wait. And she went on to tell me, well, I never said that. And I'm like, okay, well, now you're lying again. So I'm going to leave. I don't want to give you my business. And so I left calmly. Normally, I would have snapped. I would have said this, 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 and that been upset or whatever 
and I would have been calm. And the whole ride home, I would have been complaining to my wife. Man, you see how every day, every day, literally every day, something annoying like that was happening. And I could have gone on, gone on with that same story, but I didn't. I didn't. And uh, I think I learned my lesson, guys. That's the whole point of this video. And sometimes God will teach you those lessons just like that. So if you're not aware, um, you're going to get caught slipping like I did. And God is going to be the culprit. He has ways of getting his message across. I could, you know, see him like reading the book of life, telling me, hey, Rich, you know what just happened? You can get it worse. So watch out. Um, he has his ways of getting his point across in his message. He has ways of telling you in your day to day life that you're messing up and if you're stubborn like me, you may recognize them, but you keep making these mistakes. And his message was stop snapping, stop being enraged, stop being aggressive, stop being angry towards the world, you know, otherwise you're not going to be able to blossom as a human being. And guess what? I got it. I got the message. Um, and he may give you a message in an even harder way, or I don't know. I don't know what type of relationship you have with God, but just listen, guys, because God is real. And sometimes he may hurt you like he hurt me. You know what I mean? But it's all for the good because I deserved it. I deserved it. I'm the one that wasn't paying attention to the signs where I was, but I was ignoring them. I would say, God, I got your sign, you know, and then something annoying will happen the next day. There goes my my rage again. And so. That's it for this video, man. I just wanted to tell you guys that to uh, be aware of God's messages in your day to day life, because you don't want to get one that'll hurt. Trust me, won't feel good. Stay tuned so you guys can see my missing tooth video coming up. It is not a pretty sight. Late.